Hello and welcome back to the Versus series. The title for this video is Your Versus Your with Douglas ESL. Your and your are homophones. They sound alike and this is what leads to a lot of the confusion. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E is the contraction of you are. So your and your sound alike but they really mean your and you are. Your also has an S version. Your and yours are the possessive forms of the pronoun you. Your is also a possessive adjective. So we use your to show possessions, things that you own, that belong to you. Your car, your computer, or your house. Things that belong to you, possessions. Example of using your, or the version with the S, yours. Sentence number one. I do not want to buy your computer. Your computer. Number two. Where is your car parked? Your car. Number three. My car will not work. May I borrow yours? Number four. Is it yours or theirs? And number five, your house is very big. Your house, showing who owns or who possesses something. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, your, is the contracted form of you are. You're smart. You're welcome. You're correct. Another way of pronouncing it is you are smart, you are welcome, you are correct. Example sentences of the contraction your. Number one, you're a very nice friend. You are a very nice friend. Number two, you're the best boss I have ever worked with. You are the best boss I have ever worked with. Number three, are you sure that you're okay today? Number four, I sure hope you're going swimming with us today. And number five, you're my friend forever. You are my friend forever. Okay, now it's time for our your versus your assessment. Choose the correct word from each sentence using either your, or the version with the S, yours, or your, the contraction for version of you are. Number one, we have either or theirs in the house. Number two, mother is still at work. Number three, not going to need to study tonight. Number four. Not in Georgia. In Florida. And number five. She said. In big trouble. So you can pause the video to give yourself some more time. Select the correct answer for each sentence. Okay, let's see how you did. Number one, we have either yours or theirs in the house. Yours or theirs. Number two, your mother is still at work. Number three, you're not going to need to study tonight. And number four, you're not in Georgia, you're in Florida. And number five, she said, you're in big trouble. Please like, subscribe, and share to hear more English videos in the future. Thank you for watching Douglas ESL.